I was called by people who were operating as producers for a physics and mathematics symposium, and they called us for having us open our facilities to a conference with some experts in mathematics and physics. And one of the first people that presented was a man by the name of Marco Rodin, a brilliant mathematician. And Rodin presented this very simple mathematical pattern that he teaches children. He calls it the infinity pattern. He says that it relates to God's signature being found on everything because everything evolves out of the math. And he says, okay, well, how do you figure this one? How do you get this diagram? Well, one and one, if you start at the one, one and one is two, two and two is four, four and four is eight, so you draw a line up to the eight. Eight and eight is 16, where one plus six is seven. Seven and seven is 14, where one plus four is five. Five and five is 10, where one plus zero is one. You see, you have a repeating pattern to infinity. It's a double wing type structure that interestingly enough, when you lay it out over the Vitruvian woman drawing, what you've got is the energy vortices and the vectors of energy coming together right at the reproductive area. And that later on, I'm going to show you how this relates to this concept of genetic structuring and structuring of everything in the sacred spiral of life. Da Vinci studied this spiraling. He studied it because he, and we know that, because he has old man water drawing where you have an image of a Moses looking character with his staff stuck down into the water and it's spiraling. Moses' name, by the way, means saved by the water. Da Vinci was connected somehow to the one mind, to the universal mind. How he could still maintain, despite seeing the worst of the worst, the geopolitics of genocide and his age, still have the heart and the love to express in the divine art such as St. John the Baptist artwork by Da Vinci. And look at the smile, look at the hope in the face of John the Baptist who did what? With Jesus, Jesus went to John before he really began his healing ministry today called Christianity. It's called the way, the way back then. It was a sect of Judaism. And it started with baptism, water baptism. The concept of water will be reinforced as the creative juice of the universe. And this concept of hydrosonics, energetics, spiritual dynamics, vibration in water for the manifestation of everything, not just your physical body and being, but everything will put a smile on your face, just like John. So this is the essence of where it comes out of. This is why I say there is a musical, mathematical matrix out of which all great things can come and do come all the time. All the creation is coming out of this musical mathematical matrix that the religious world calls the kingdom of heaven. Can you imagine Yeshua, Jesus, trying to teach his disciples about the mathematics of this at his age? No. So there's metaphors that are used for this understanding, and we're bringing the scientific revelation to the ancient scriptural understandings. Words, language, creation, intimately connected. God said, let said, word, let there be light into the water, out came the sun. That music and mathematics is God's language for creation. And we are powerful co-creators because we were given, we were created in the image, we're told, the image, 
could mean imagination, vision, internal, heartfelt, loving, intent to create, manifest a vision of a better way, of a healthier body, of a same optimally functioning world. We are spiritual beings first. We come out of the energy of love. This is the technology for the manifestation of that divine inspiration of creation and then we co-creation. Because that's what the matrix does. The entire universe is spiraling. I'm going to show you where DNA gets its source. It's out of the math, out of the music of the spheres, out of the music of divinity that it is coming into this perfect sacred spiral structure. Form does not follow function. That is absolute garbage. That's what we were all taught in medicine and physiology and anatomy. Form follows spirit. Mathematics, energetics, higher order. Well, guess what? DNA is a sacred spiral. It's spinning and it's manifesting in its form because of the energy. The primary function of DNA is to serve as a receiver and transmitter of light and sound signals. In fact, the entire world of genetic science has been completely manipulated into ignorance. The whole field is focused on 3% of the function of DNA. We, told, we were told, and I even taught students at Tufts University School of Dental Medicine and Histology and Genetics that DNA serves as a template for protein synthesis. The amino acids that are called for by the sequence come and assemble at the ribosome, the protein manufacturing station of the cell, and out pops a new cell part, and out pops new cells. That's 3%, three, count it, one, two, three percent of the whole function of DNA, all of the world of science is focused on. And you know what they do? The Rockefeller industrialists that control genetics, along with George Soros, and the Human Genome Project bandits, they claim and they have labeled, demonized the rest of the spiritual function. 93% of the function of DNA serves an an, as an antenna to the Creator. They label that, quote, junk DNA. It's like God defecated all over your cells, take it to the dump. Junk DNA. That's the part of DNA. 93% of the function takes in light signals, phot photons, sound signals, phonons. And because of the water in and around the DNA, which is simply serving that sacred spiral as a Tesla coil to amplify and transmit the light and sound that is the spirit of the perfect mathematical matrix manifesting into you as a creation and manifesting you every milli instant indoctrination what did Jesus say Yeshua said about beware of the doctrines beware of the traditions of men make the word to no avail. Word, sound, frequency, resonance, divinity. You can't get there if you're engaged in that left brain dogmatic thinking. It's a heart function, a heart mind opening, not a X over the heart closing. So this is where you now begin to see the pure revelation of the musical mathematic in vibration, creation, this whole concept of us being powerful children of the Creator, brothers and sisters who have been brought here at this time to strategically plan the event that's going to bring the entire planet back to sanity and peace and fulfill destiny. 